Okay guys, and it's Wednesday again, which means it's time for a whole bee review. So this is the review for Wednesday, the f no, Tuesday the 1st of April. I'm sorry if I look a bit bleh, or if, I don't know, I sound a bit weird. I don't feel very well, but I'm going to battle through and get this video done. So I made a list of notes um, while I was watching the episode yesterday. I made it on my phone and then I messaged it to my iPod, but um, as you can see there's quite a lot, so I'm just going to work through them quickly and I start at the beginning. Why not? So first thing I've written is Mo's car is fab, which it is. Her little blue car is adorable. I love it so much. But then there was the cringy Johnny and Bonnie bit when she was in the, um, whatever you call it, staff room. And, yeah, she had to get out and get in the lift and blah, 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 so he could get in. And Jack's bit about projectile vomiting or whatever or whatever she said. She said something. And I obviously agreed with it because I, I agree, Jack. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely agree. Um, I felt really sorry for Jack for most of this episode. And then we went to Keller. And there was a bit of Zosha throwing the roses in the bin. I don't like Guy, so I was like, yes, Zosha, you go, girl. But um, yeah, I, I love that bit. Um, the emotion put into that and Camilla's acting again is just fabulous. And Sasha's hair is growing back. Yes. Oh. It reminds me of when Sasha shaved his hair off, though. But, um, yeah, I'm really glad that his hair's growing back because lo it looks good. I miss Sasha's hair. Um, and there was a Connie mention. For those of you who, don't, who watch Casualty, um, Connie Beecham, who used to be on Holby, has now gone into Casualty. And there was a mention of it on Holby. So Serena obviously feels threatened by Connie and Connie is pretty fabulous so you know. And Serena was hung over. Oh that's so sweet. Oh I don't know I just found it hilarious and Serena and Adele in scenes together makes me laugh so much. Especially that bit with the questionnaire that was really good. Um, I just like the way Adele was, didn't see the point in it, and yeah. Oh, I love those see, those two together. So funny. I also felt very sorry for Zosha due to the fact it was her mum's anniversary. And Colette trying to help, I found really cute. I think Colette should be kind, some kind of like mother figure to Zosha. I also felt sorry for Jack when she walked in when Jack and, uh, no, Johnny and Bonnie were on the phone. And... Johnny calling Bonnie sweetheart, but the toaster, because, um, oh, ages and ages ago, when Jack was upset or something, I think it was when she had the endometriosis, but Johnny didn't know yet, he could tell she was upset, so he said, I'll make you some comforting food, toast, and then when Emma was born, they said she smelt like toast, and then Jack gave Johnny a toaster, because it would remind him of her, that is, that is why, okay, that's why she did it. Uh, Johnny knows that's why as well, but it really annoyed me when he didn't accept the present. <sighs> she went through effort to buy a toaster. Stupid. <laughs> and Mo listening it was really cute, and um, Jack was like, careful, you could get close to uh, her standing that close to the door. It was so funny. Uh, <laughs> the way she's just like, yep, but I wasn't doing anything. Yeah, I love that bit. I love Mo so much. Yeah, and that bit was funny. And I'm sorry, but we all know Johnny doesn't love Bonnie. And um, he says something like, you can't imagine what it's like to love someone this much or whatever. And I was like, yes, she can, because she loves you. Oh, I got really annoyed. Because it's obvious that Jack loves him. And I've only really got one point on this scene. But Adele singing. Oh, she's such a good singer. That was really good. And she was singing Raw, so I was singing along, obviously, because it's a good song. 
And then Bonnie's brother, the way Jack was like using him to get to Johnny and her clever little plan. Oh, that was good. And the way she was like, we'll look after our own. I was just like, okay, Jack, it's pretty obvious what you're trying to do. But yeah, it was really good. That was a really good idea by the script writers, I think. I really like that. I've also put here, I really like Johnny's top. Who knows? And I really hate it when they argue. So I've put stop arguing in capitals with an exclamation mark. Because it's really annoying. Because they should get along, not argue. <laughs> and then when Mo was stood there behind the door, I was just like, oh, hello, Mo in the background. I noticed her straight away. And um, the way Jack was like, who comes to work on their wedding day unless they're looking for a way out was obviously true. It is true. He wanted to see Jack before he got married and make up his mind, and yes, that's my theory. And I think I've said this before, but Zosha's crying, I'm just gone. It breaks me. When Zosha cries, I cry. And Dom was kind of being nice. And you know I don't like Dominic, but yeah, he was sort of being nice. So I was like, what? And then when he was talking about him losing his mum as well, that was a really sweet scene. And then Sasha was being nice as well, because, you know, Sasha used to be all jolly and lovely, and, oh, I loved him. And then they started making him all horrible and strict, but then he kind of started being nice again, which is good. But, yeah. And then, after that, it's revealed that um, Joel, Bonnie's brother, is checking up on Johnny, and I knew that's what, like, it was what he was doing. And um, when Johnny says there's nothing between them, I was just like, well, there should be something between you, but you're both too stupid to do anything about it. And then I've put, ooh, door slamming. <laughs> but yeah, when Johnny slammed the door, it was so funny. I was just like, temper, temper. And when he's like, I'm not doing the operation because it's you, so I'm going to do it. So like, yeah. And um, I was like, Johnny, that's what she wanted, you idiot. But oh well, I love them in theatre together anyway. Well, I love them together, full stop. But you know. And then we had Zosha in the bar. I swear she goes to the bar every single episode. All the time. And she was so clever, although it was kind of obvious that he'd spiked a drink. Although it wasn't so clever making him drink it. Because that didn't end too well, did it? And can I just say how pretty Mo looked at the wedding? She is so beautiful. Oh, And then Elliot putting his, his foot in it when he was like, um, I can't remember, something about him, um, Johnny going, to, going into theatre. I was like, oh, Elliot, why is it always you? But she had to know. And then when Jack said that she'd like get herself in trouble for him and she tried to make cover it up, like, oh yeah, I've always wanted to do this. No. She was doing it for him. And then Johnny gave her hope and then just knocked it down. Oh my god. And then Jack looked so upset. Oh, it was horrible. I couldn't, no, I couldn't handle that. But then they kissed. Jack and Johnny kissed. And then he led her to the linen room. I mean, then he gave us hope as well. And we all thought that something was going to happen. The linen room of all places. Ah, no. And then she was like, um, you're my whole life and all that. And she never met, like, met anyone like him or felt, um, felt for anyone what she feels for him or whatever she said. Oh, oh my God, that was so cute. That was my favourite part of the whole episode. I think that was amazing. Um, but if only she'd said those three little words. I know, it's, and she said it to him before, so he knows she can. She, he just put her under pressure, and it is really annoying. And then Jack started crying too, and that was just too much. I'm going to cry thinking about it in a minute. Oh my, Holby, why you do this to me? And I love the way Zosha rang Colette to help her, and then later on when Zosha's crying, and she just hugs Colette, and like, I'm so sorry, or whatever she says. That was so cute. I knew that they should be... She should be a mother figure. And then the ending. I still haven't quite comprehended that yet. I'm still trying to get over it. I did not see that coming. This is going to be a major spoiler if you haven't seen it. 
when the lorry comes, I literally, my heart, oh, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I literally went, oh, swerve. <laughs> but, like, more over the top than that. I know. And um, my, I had my hand like this, and my heart was just literally pounding. Um, I didn't like Bonnie, but that made me cry so much, especially Johnny crying. Oh, my. Oh, why? <laughs> I don't know. I think that was good because Holby needed some drama. I like drama, but yeah. It's like something you see in Casualty, to be honest. And then when Jack knew where he'd be afterwards, that was adorable. And she was trying to comfort him, but then he just blamed her. And it is not Jack's. So overall, a really good episode again. Um, that twist at the end was like the biggest twist ever and not what any of us had expected. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. There will be the usual links below, like my Twitter, Ellen's latest video, and my collab, my collab with Kira. So yeah, be sure to check them out. Um, also, as ever, let me know what other videos you want to see in the future. And I shall be back very soon. Bye!